Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas. and today I wanted to spend some time talking about how easy it is to grade our Canvas assignments that our students complete using the mobile app. So I have an Android phone, so the first thing that I want to do is go to the Play Store and I want to get my app for Canvas going to write canvas um, something that I want you to see is that canvas does have three different apps there is a canvas for teacher there is a canvas for student and there's also a canvas for parents okay so you want to make sure that when you download the app you are looking for canvas for teachers okay if you are using a um, Apple device iOS it will be the same thing you just need to go to the App Store and download canvas teacher I already have the app so once you download it download the app what you want to do is you want to open it my canvas teacher is over here I'm going to open it and the first thing that it should do is that it should ask you to log in so I'm already logged in so what I want to do is I want to log out so you can see this okay so let me log out okay yes I want to log out so the first time you get into the app or you open the app it's going to say find my school we're gonna find a school and then you do not want to type your school's name you want to type the district hacienda okay and once you do hacienda it should find it it's going to be the first one okay you click on it and it's going to ask you for your credentials to log in okay so let me go ahead and log in Okay, it should ask for your password. Okay, while I move, I do the password, I'm gonna move it out of the way so I can type my password really quick. I'll bring it back right now. Okay. It's going to ask you if you want to stay signed in or not. Okay, so I'm going to say yes. Okay. And it should take you into your Canvas courses. You might have just one course or more than one, but I'm going to go into this particular course. Okay? And then notice that it takes you in here. Okay? And you have everything that you will have in your class should be right available right here too. Okay? So everything is in there. Okay? There's many ways to do the grading. To me, it is easier to do it from the main page instead of going inside of the course and looking for it, I like to just go to the to-do and notice that I have 99 things to do, okay? So I'm going to click on them, okay? And it's going to tell me that all of these uh, different assignments need grading. The great thing about using the mobile app is that you can do this really, really fast, okay? This animal project is a Google assignment. I can just click on one, it's grading. It's going to show me the student, Teresa. It's going to show me what she completed. So this was a, a, a Google Slides um, assignment that she had to do. And I can go through her assignment. Notice that I can go through her slides and what she did. And I can kind of review it. I have the ability to actually come in here and type if I wanted to. Okay, I could do that really, really fast if I want to. Okay, I can do a good job in there. Okay, I have the ability to select text if I want to. In here, there we go. I selected that particular tab. Uh, um, revise, okay. Or oh, um, let's say uh, wrong info, okay. Let's go to a different slice um, that she has done, okay. I have the ability to actually write if I wanted to. I can pick the color, and I, actually this is the highlighter. I can highlight if I want to, okay. Here is the pen where I can actually write. I can pick the color that I want to use and I can write in here okay I also have the eraser and I can redo and undo okay but what I want you to see is that when I am done okay um, over here I have the comments okay if I wanted to add comments in here I could but I can just go in here and grade so I think Teresa did really well on this assignment so I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10 I can excuse her I'm just gonna go okay and once I do okay what I want you to see is that I also have the ability in here, like I said before, 
to add comments okay and I can do my comments okay through video or through audio so this makes it really really fast to actually um, grade things in the um, speed grader inside of the app okay I can come in here and just say I'm gonna do a video comment I'm gonna allow it and I'm going to say um, record uh, Teresa you did a great job keep up the good work okay and now I have it done and I can just send it and the comment is going to be there for her okay just like I did that I could do an audio file so I want you to see how easy that was it, it's uploaded successfully okay I'm done with that so let's just go ahead and go back okay let's say that I was doing uh, maybe I'm doing a flip grade that I need to grade okay I'm going to click on it okay it's going to ask you to open the external tool I'm gonna say just open it it might ask you to do it twice or it might just ask you to do it once but it's really easy here it is this is what my student did okay so I can kind of pay attention and see what the student did okay and once I've seen it and what they've done and what they turned in and so on and so on I have the ability to grade in here too okay so a great tool to have I can go ahead and just grade that particular activity remember okay I can do the grade and then after I can do I do the grade let's give them a five okay I can say okay now I can add comments and remember that we have the, the ability to message the student through typing but I also have the ability to do a video comment or an audio comment if I wanted to okay so I've shown you how to do a Google assignment I've shown you how to do a, a, a flip grid let's say that uh, this kid had done a PDF where they annotated I can go and click on it okay it's going to open that student's particular assignment right now once we are there okay and it's going to take a second probably so notice how the assignment where the student um, annotated is here I have all of my tools up here that we talked about before I can grade again right I can do comments through audio and video so this is just a really quick overview of how you can use the mobile app to do your grading you can finish grading really really fast by just going through here going to the to do and just going and, and grading all of the different assignments your students have turned in if you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosses. Have a great day.